Communication is an effective way of sharing ideas. And we have various types of communication. We have verbal communication, nonverbal communication, visual communication, written communication, among others. And we all know that you can't strike a good business deal without good communication. You can't keep a relationship without good communication. And you can't win people's hearts without good communication. So in today's Wisdom Kit, I want us to share ways on how to improve on our communication skills. Number one, number one, listen carefully. You must listen carefully so that you get everything that the person talking to you is saying. When you do not listen carefully, when you do not give them your full attention, you might mess up with your response. Why? Because you didn't get everything that they were saying. So a good communicator must listen fast and they must listen carefully. Number two, get rid of distractions. There are people, you're talking to them, they're looking this way, they're checking their phones, they're on WhatsApp, hmm? they're on social media, and they're still, they're multitasking. You can't say, you can't tell me you're listening carefully and at the same time you're WhatsApping, you're Facebooking, you're in Insta, you know, you're doing TikTok, you're writing, you know, you can't. You're not a machine. So get rid of distractions. Give, when you're to give someone your full attention, you must get rid of distractions. And that will make you a good communicator. Number three, you think very fast before you respond. A good communicator must be in position to think very fast about their response before they bring it out. Why? Because words are like bullets. Once you speak them out, you can't call them back. They are gone. They are gone. So you must be in position to think very fast about something before you speak it out. That will make you a good communicator. Number four, be specific and clear. Yes, be specific and clear. If you have a point you're bringing out, don't go around it. Go straight to the point. Someone must understand you. Someone must be in position to say they understood what you were saying. Otherwise, if you go around the point, tell a long story, people might get bored and they may lose attention along the way. And before you know it, they didn't get the point. So you must be clear, stick to the point, be audible. Yes. Number five, watch your body language. It's so important for you to watch your body language if you're to be a good communicator. You can't be the person communicating. You're the one scratching your armpits. You're the one in the mirror. You know, you, you, you're checking your mirror. You know, hmm? watch your body language. Watch your body language. It is so important. Otherwise, you'll be misjudged. If I'm talking to you and you're looking elsewhere and you're ready, I may think you're already scared. I may think you're already thinking of something to lie to me. I may think you're not sure of the topic we are talking about. So if it's a business deal, my dear, it's already, you're already losing it. You're already losing it. Why? Your body language, your good body language is already communicating that you didn't prepare, you're not sure. So be attentive, as in be, be, be very careful about your body language. And lastly, but not least, know how to tone your voice. Know how to tone your voice if you're to make a good communicator. Why? Let me give you an example. If I have something I have to tell my husband, and um, it, it could be a serious issue. But if I do not know how to tone my voice, I may bring it out in a way, shouting, 
and he may think I'm already fighting. Yeah? I'm already nagging. Yet in reality, all I needed was to calm down, get his full attention, and speak calmly. So know how to tone your voice. If you're not fighting with someone, why are you raising it so high? You must be careful when it comes to tonation, if you're to be a good communicator. Otherwise, with that, with those six, with those six ways, like I say, number one, listen carefully or attentively. Number two, avoid distractions. Number three, think very fast before you respond. Number four, be specific and clear. Number five, watch your body language. And number six, I said, know how to tone your voice. That has been it for today's Wisdom Kate with Elma. Thank you for watching Elma's Corner. For those who have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscription button. And don't forget to hit the bell as well. So that every time I upload a new video, you get a notification and you can watch fast. Otherwise, I'll be glad. Leave a comment, like the video if you love it. And I'm grateful. I'm out of here.